Hi all, Fuzzy Bear Barian here again. Yesterday I posted a new build that used the General of Kugetsu armor set in which I mentioned I got the entire set and a bunch of other ethereal weapons by doing a single farming run over and over. Some of you asked for a video of that, so here we are. The run is done on the Way of the Wise main mission, Scion of Virtue. Uh, before you go in, make sure that you put on Daiba Washi as your primary guardian spirit for the equipment drop rate and plus 70 luck. Also chuck on Ida Kuri as your secondary, experience, uh, secondary spirit for a little extra luck. Uh, you also probably should uh, go to the shrine, um, get a armor, a warrior blessing armor drop, uh, Kadama blessing and wear a Kadama hat for that. I don't have a Kadama hat, I deleted mine, so I, I won't be doing that in this run. And basically stack as much luck on your gear uh, as you can. Uh, and I find the Yada Mirror has more luck than anything else I've seen. And if you get a Yada Mirror with luck and equipment drop rate, all the better. So yeah, equipment drop rate is what you want and luck. So let's go in. Uh, put on, use all your uh, uh, Achoko cups if you, if you can. Now, uh, I normally do this run very fast using a Tiger Running Scroll. I won't use a Tiger Running Scroll in this video so that it's a bit slower and easier to follow. Uh, but if you use a Tiger Running Scroll, it will go much faster than what the run will go in this video. You'll also need to have uh, the Supper and Catwalking Ninjutsu abilities for this. They are absolutely crucial. So it's a pretty easy run to do, nothing nothing too difficult. So pretty much when I get here, I pop the supper and catwalking scrolls. Gotta watch out for that guy, just run around the edge. There's another guy behind here, so stick to the edge there. First thing to check is this. Oh, and there's straight away an ethereal piece. This run is about getting the Kigetsu armor set, but the reason I do the whole run is because you can get a ton of different ethereal pieces along the way. I got my entire ethereal build uh, in that last video doing this run and this run alone. So that's pretty good. Uh, so yep, check this. Uh, so pretty much just walk where I walk if you you can make mistakes and trigger some enemies if you don't do that. This is a bit different for me because I'm normally sprinting through, so I'm kind of uh, doing this in a way almost fresh. Running slow feels slow. Now check this one here. They do drop, all of these things have, uh, have and do drop ethereal weapons and armor, so be sure to check them all. Stop at this uh, shrine just to stop this guy chasing you and to refresh your supper, catwalking, and mostly to refresh your tiger running scroll uh, when you're doing this properly. By the way, there uh, you can do this run in a different way uh, before I go into that. Dodge this dog by going up here, that dog will sniff you out. Um, you can do this run a different way by checking all of the things you check and then going back to the using a travel amulet to go back to the original shrine so that you get multiple chances at checking all of these things because they can drop, uh, they do have multiple chances at getting gear from them. So watch out for that dog and then go in here, there's a chest. But yeah, I won't, I'm not doing the the proper or the an optimal way of farming for ethereal gear in this video because this is about getting the general of Kigetsu armor, and I only do it this way because it also gives you a chance to get a ton of other good stuff. Be careful in here. There's a dude on the right, but if you just walk through, he won't generally won't notice you. Uh, you will lose your invisibility here because. Uh, once you're seen by any enemy, you always lose it. Just be wary of that. Nothing 
exciting there. Again, on the way out, you're now visible, so if you forget to make yourself invisible again, you will be seen by this guy, so just be wary of that. That, that, that dog is always... Always be careful of that dog. Sometimes you don't notice him and then he spots you. Like that, sometimes you run around that corner forgetting that he's going to be there. So, yeah, just take your time. Once you do it a few times with a tiger running scroll, though, you just just tear through this over, uh, in su such a fast time, it's, it's pretty good. So yeah, like I said, you can keep checking these chests over and over if you go back to a shrine and don't keep moving forward, but because we're only interested in the Kigetsu armor, we're going to keep moving forward. Now, this dude in here can be troublesome, so uh, a paralytic ground fire trap is good for him, but I'll just take a risk, hermit up, and put some weakness on him. Oop. And didn't mean to do that. It's alright, he'll go down. Sometimes he drops ethereals too, so... But you can't sneak past him, whether you've got supper and catwalking going, he'll always drop down, so you just have to be aware of that. Once again, you don't need to stop here when you're doing it, but if you're running with a tiger running scroll, it does help refresh them if, you, if you've used them up. Just stick to the left to avoid these guys. They won't notice you if you do. There's a red dude walking around here. Uh, he's sometimes red, sometimes not red, so just avoid him. He won't see you if you just walk casually. Always get some spirit, a large soul stone or spirit stones there. And the Yoko water pot and Shinsaki. Make a timer at least. Uh, you get two moment talismans there, so you can use those to... Uh, well, you know what you can use for, you don't need me to explain stuff like that. So yeah, you can go back to the shrine and uh, have another shot at all that stuff, all those uh, drops there, but we're not doing that here. When you run up here, these dogs can sniff you out if you're facing them, so... Uh, sometimes you might just want to... I mean, you, when you're using a tiger running scroll, you can just run straight past them, they'll chase you, but it's kind of irrelevant because you'll just run straight to the nearest shrine. But we're not doing that here. This one's probably going to spot me. No, made it past. This dog here on the left will also get you unless you stick to the right. So once you've prayed here, this is now your general of Kugitsu... Uh, farming save point. So go invisible again. Check these chests, but don't pick anything up from them unless there's an ethereal. No ethereal here. The reason for that is you want to shot at those chests every time you come back here to farm him if he doesn't drop his ethereal gear. So what I, I mean, there's various ways you can do this. What I normally do is I just lock onto him here, rage up, put on Hermit Talisman, and then just sign it across him. Takes off a heap of uh, health straight away. Pretty easy. Oh, he's dropped something. Yep, there's a piece, there's the helm. Okay, so we got the helm. You can pick all this stuff up if you want to take it. No, it won't hurt. And, uh, yeah, so now what you want to do is, if, if uh, an ethereal piece had not dropped from him, then what you would do is you would get out of the application, close it, and then restart Neo, and you would respawn at the shrine and then you would come in here and do exactly what we just did again 
and do that over and over and over until he does drop an ethereal but this time uh, he has dropped an ethereal where is my new items so he has dropped one so let's we're, we're happy with that so now we would go out there and either defeat the boss to finish the level or if you're just here specifically to farm his armor and nothing else then and you want to do it as fast as possible then this is the time to use uh, Himoroji, uh, Himoroji Fragment. Where's my Himo Himoroji Fragments? Himoroji Branch, I mean. Um, now, if... Sometimes the drop rate can be pretty low, depending on what you're, you've been specced out for and how good RNG is to you. So uh, my advice, so as not to waste your Himoroji branches, is to any Amrita you've got, because what the Himoroji branches allow you to leave without losing Amrita. Himoroji fragments you can leave, but you will lose your Amrita. Uh, if you don't want to lose all of your Amrita, I recommend going to the blacksmith, and before you go into that mission, I recommend going to the blacksmith and going into the forge area forge tools go across to syllabar ingot and forge an ingot that will take all the amrita out of your uh, uh, inventory leaving you with no amrita um, you'll now have in your items inventory you'll have a syllabar ingot that you can use to get your amrita back and without any amrita you can go in and do the farming mission uh, in the sign of virtue and then at the very end you can use a Himoroji fragment. Oh man, I tell you what, I must be tired today. There you go, Himoroji fragment. You can use a Himoroji fragment to leave the map without worrying about your Amrita and without losing Himoroji branches. And that's it, that's as easy as the run is. Uh, if you do that over and over, you're guaranteed to get a ton of ethereals uh, by the time you've finished uh, getting all of your general of Kigitsu armor. I got uh, this ranged weapon, this ranged weapon, the two master swordsman sets, as well as a full set of general of Kigitsu's armor, as well as I also got uh, a number of uh, these ranged rifles doing that run so it's a very good run it's very easy you get a lot of ethereal gear and it's well worth doing the general of kigitsu's armor set is really good okay hope that helps you out guys nothing more to say there uh good luck and have fun